Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless Active Directory and much more. In this episode, we are going to build dynamic access lists for our Wired Access. So what we did in uh, previous episodes is that we were able to, uh, based on profiling data, for example, uh, this is an IP phone, we can push that into the voice VLAN and this device here, it's an uh, IP camera. So we put it in the untrusted uh, VLAN. What we can do with dynamic access list is that in addition to that VLAN, we can push some more restrictions, for example, to which IP addresses that device can communicate, which is very nice in an IoT environment. For example, uh, we have seen attacks with IP cameras where IP cameras were attacked on your network and then start scanning the internet. So what we will be doing uh, as an example in this episode is that we are limiting uh, IP cameras to only uh, allow access to the internal network. How are we going to do that? Um, we are uh, using uh, IP access list, dynamic access list. And dynamic access lists uh, look like normal access lists. So for example, uh, here you see an example for an access list that allows uh, access for DNS and for DHCP and then it will deny access to the internal network and permit everything else. So this will prevent uh, basically IP access to the internal network. Uh, the voice uh, ACL here um, is an example where we uh, deny everything else but the PBX uh, systems. With these two are the PBX systems. And uh, this is an example where we only have internal uh, access. So we deny IP to everything and uh, yeah, we just uh, permit it to the internal and of course we want to uh, allow DHCP and DNS. So how do you get the uh, exact syntax for these access lists? You can find it in a document called the Aruba OS Switch Access Security Guide and this is that document and uh, you can see here that the NAS filter rule, uh, which is the radius attribute that we will be returning will be either permit or deny then the direction so that it will be in and then it will be IP uh, or the IP protocol from any to blah blah. So this is um, how you can do it and you can search for ACE syntax in this document if you want to have the exact um, the exact uh, format and uh, syntax. Um, but for now I looked this up so we uh, just uh, will take these. So what we will do is we are creating the correct enforcement profile. So let's go into the enforcement profiles. And here you can see we don't have any dynamic access lists uh, at the moment. So we just go add here and we are doing a, a radius based enforcement because it's uh, just a default. And then let's call this And this um, is an ACL for untrusted devices. Then here on the attributes, you can see it's an IETF NAS filter rule attribute. So here we go to IETF NAS filter rule. And then the value is just this. And then we add another one. And then we take the second line. And we press save. And now if we check for ACL, you can see that we have this uh, dynamic access list. So let's repeat this for the other two. save. So now we have three ACLs. Uh, yeah, one that only allows internet traffic, one that only allows internal traffic and a specific voice ACL. So let's assign this into the policies. So here we are looking for switch. So um, yeah, let's take this one. 
So this is the one that uh, allows our VoIP phone into the VoIP VLAN, the printer to the corporate VLAN, um, and uh, all other devices into the Entrusted. So let's change this. So let's add a rule. So first here, if the endpoint repository category equals network camera, we will put it into, let's put it into the corporate VLAN and uh, also put on the dynamic access list for internal only. So we can, um, so this uh, will put it, if it is a, a network camera, we will put it in the VLAN 12, 11 and we put in the ACL for um, only internal access so i have a voip phone here as well so here we will just edit the rule and then we will add here the acl for voice so. let's see how that works let's uh, bounce both clients what we can see is this is the first device coming back so it's the network camera and we can see it is assigned to a vlan 11 with a dynamic access list of internal only and yeah here in the radius response we can see the radius attributes returned to this specific client uh now let's have a look on the switch because here on the switch we can do a show port access clients so this is our client so we can see uh, there's a client on port 3 um, and one on port 4 so let's see for a client on the port number 3 first and we can do a detailed which will uh, give us more in detail uh, the uh, information so what we can see here it's Mac based And we can uh, also see that these access lists are pushed over the uh, over the network. So now we can also test if the client is uh, working because um, yeah, basically uh, we shouldn't be able to uh, ping this device from our switch. So if we ping it from here, it shouldn't respond because the return packets uh, are dropped here on the access list because there's no access possible to the switch but if we go into our pbx and we ping the system from here you can see it is responding so due to this access list we have put an additional layer of security on this um, on this device so this is the voice device and uh, similar here we can do the check on the uh, ip camera so the IP camera is on the VLAN 11. And uh, yeah, again here, uh, this one should only be accepted from the data center. So um, from our server here, we should be able to see what's on the camera. 10.1.11.101. So you can see here we can uh, see the data, but uh, yeah, of course, because of the access lists, we cannot uh, see it from any other place. So pretty simple. Um, in this episode, we added dynamic access lists and you can see it's just additional attributes and an additional enforcement profile. So we're pushing two enforcement profiles back to our uh, switch and that makes yeah additional security. So thank you for watching uh, this time i hope you like this video um, if so please press the like button and put your comments below this video and if you subscribe to our channel you will be notified first when new videos appear on our channel thanks for watching